Hey guys, OzGrillis here, and today I'm going to show you how to customize your own alert box in Streamlabs OBS. Let's do it. Alright guys, this one is a bit different to my video on the same topic last year, as Streamlabs OBS has changed a bit in the meantime. We'll be going over how to put your GIFs and such into alert boxes to make your stream stand out from the rest. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for your Streamlabs OBS tutorial needs and Twitch tutorial needs. Let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are in Streamlabs OBS. I've got my alert box here. Um, so what you're going to need to do first of all is to add your alert box. So you're going to go into sources and hit the plus button and then it is here, alert box. And it's got a central next to it um, as it pretty much is very essential for the success of your stream. Uh, so what you're going to do to add your own alerts into this. So first of all, I'm going to show you a little feature up here, which is the alert box library from Streamlabs OBS. And this gives you some templates of different kind of alerts you can have. Unfortunately, this comes under their prime. So you're going to have to pay to get these kind of alerts. If you don't want to pay and also want a bit more of a customized um, alert box, which is probably why you're here. What you're going to have to do is go down here on the left to dashboard and hit that. All right, so here on the dashboard, down the left here, it's got everything you can do with Prime, which is, you know, quite a good product if you wanted to pay for it. Um, so, you know, I'm definitely not saying don't get it, um, but for this one, we're just going to do our own alert box and customize it ourselves. So you're going to go to Features Alert Box. And yet again, it shows you some more templates here that you can purchase um, or come with the Prime. So I'm just going to show you how to set up your own. All right, so here you can tick which ones you want. Um, or down here you can go to, so we're gonna start with follows. And you can enable it or disable it. So if you didn't wanna show it to show when you got a new follower, disable it, that's fine. You can do your layout. You now the text down the bottom, the text within, the text on the right of it. Um, I've got it on the text underneath at the moment. And you can do change your alert animation like fade in zoom in bounce in slide in flip in there's plenty of different options there i just left it on the simple fade in fade out um, you can do whatever you want in the template here i've got that name is now following welcome to the oz crew you can write whatever you want there obviously you can change the text animation to what you want there i'll just leave it on wiggle uh, but you can put whatever you want in there and then here for the image so i've got here the um, uh, sax man crazy sax guy i believe they call him and to put this in here, you're gonna to need to find the GIF and then you're gonna to have to upload it on the left here. So drag and drop upload. I've got a few different ones here. And you select which one you want. Then just go select, that's here. Then if you've got the corresponding sound, you do the same kind of thing, select that and then select. And you got it there, you can change, you know, what volume you want the alert to come through at. Just got it at 50% for myself into last for 10 seconds and zero seconds delay. So say you wanted the text to come in after, if you had the text over the top, um, you wanted to say the alert had been on for a couple seconds and then you wanted the text to come up. That's how you would do it there, you'd move that along. I've got no custom HTML or CSS, so I've just got it disabled. And then you have your font for your text. So you can change that around, you can make it bigger, make it smaller, um, different colors. A different font and your alert variations here um, I haven't really played around with this but you can add variations so you would call it whatever you wanted um, I could come in randomly very rarely rarely frequently very frequently um, and you can try to just change it so this what would happen here is every time someone follows it's not gonna be the same one you can add a different um, alert here so you know, make it like sometimes maybe a bit different to your normal one and that person you know, maybe you gift them a sub when that comes up or um, give them a shout out if they follow and they get that rare one you shout them out um, you know fun a few fun little things you can do by having different alerts um, I haven't got any set up at the moment but it is something that I'm going to do once I get some I'm going to do some gifts of my actual of myself um, and put them on um, and then I'll start doing some variations. That's pretty much it for um, setting them up and then you go through and you do it for each one. 
and until you've got all the ones that you want. Then you gotta test them. So what you do is you go back to Streamlabs OBS, you go back um, to the main view here and go down here to test widgets. We'll just test. See there, that is what would come up if someone followed. Um, and then it's the same for everything. So as you can see, there's different alerts here. So these are just the tests there. So obviously I'm not getting these coming through um, and that is quite simple. So what you do is just go through them all and set them up how you wanted them all the way through. Um, does that a raid? Can you test a raid? Post. Hello there. No, <laughs> you can't test. Oh, maybe you can test the raid. There you guys, that's pretty much how you set up your um, alert box. Hey right, guys, well thanks a lot for watching. If you like to hit that like button, share it to your friends who, um, you know, you want to see them have better alerts. Uh, subscribe to the channel, there's plenty of videos out there. Um, if you haven't already joined the Gamers Corner Discord, um, as you can see, it is above me there, the logo. It is the community of streamers um, all helping each other out and um, we all grow together. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already, hit me up on Twitter and Twitch as well. The links will be in the description um, and then you can keep up with everything that's going on. Thanks, guys.